Hey guys, somebody put a question to me on my farm, so I thought you guys would find it interesting. So he writes, I am an aspiring freelancer. Would it make sense to learn Laravel after becoming competent with PHP, MySQL, MySQI, CRUD, and WordPress? Or are frameworks like Laravel primarily only used for larger projects, for larger clients, and not simple web apps for restaurants or small businesses or non-profits? This is a very good question. So short answer is Laravel is worth learning after you've done what I would characterize as the fundamentals. Fundamentals, of course, in the web stack or HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. Then if you're doing freelance, definitely jump into PHP. PHP is the king of freelance. Then you want to learn the MySQL database. Then you learn the MySQL I library and then CRUD and then probably some WordPress if you want to do freelance. So what is Laravel and what is a framework? Just for people who may not know. So a framework, a code framework, if you will, is basically just a bunch of templated code, a bunch of code structured in a very particular way that is agreed upon as being the best way to structure your typical web app. The whole point of frameworks is to speed up your development process by providing all this boilerplate code so that you don't have to write it again. Another advantage of the framework is that many, many individuals have worked on this framework. So you can expect that the framework code is going to be far less buggy than the code you would have to write from scratch. The other big advantage of a framework is that if you build your web app with a framework, especially a popular one like Laravel, um, if you ever needed to bring somebody else onto the team, you could just say we're using Laravel and you could find Laravel experienced developers who will be able to jump into it and learn how your code base is structured much more quickly than if you did something custom, totally custom from scratch. So the larger question is, should you learn uh, Laravel if you want to do freelance stuff? Because uh, is Laravel something only used for larger projects? Short answer is no. You wouldn't want to use a web framework for every single thing out there, but I would say for maybe high 90 percentile, I don't know, 95%, 98% of them, you might want to use Laravel. Now, if you're doing something in WordPress, you probably wouldn't use Laravel, although you can mate Laravel and WordPress together depending on the circumstances. But generally speaking, uh, Laravel, I would say, would be used and leveraged in many, many projects because you want to take advantage of all those advantages because Laravel has all these built-in capabilities, things like authentication layers, uh, built-in cron, and a whole bunch of other things, so you don't have to build it. The other advantage, as I said, you have a structured framework that's clean, understood, easy to get other people on. One other big advantage of using a framework and learning a framework like Laravel is that it's going to improve you as a developer because you're going to see how some of the most experienced developers in the community have decided to structure and write code. The good thing about Laravel is that the creator has borrowed from some of the best frameworks out there, not just in PHP world, but other frameworks as well. So it's been modeled after that. It's continued to be refined. So um, by learning Laravel, you'll be learning how to code better and you probably improve your coding skills altogether. To close off, PHP has several frameworks, not just Laravel. Symfony comes to mind, CodeIgniter, Cake PHP, although I wouldn't be using CodeIgniter. By far, though, the most popular is Laravel, and for good reason. It's a really good framework. We use it for Studio Web. And all the languages uh, that are doing the web have frameworks of some type. So Python has Django and Flask, and I believe there's others. Uh, Java has Struts, and although not too many people use Struts these days, but the most popular is Spring and Spring Boot. Uh, what else is there? The .NET, of course, has a .NET framework. And what else is there? Express for JavaScript and Node, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Frameworks are common. They're useful, but powerful. So once again, to close off, if you're getting into freelance, yes, learn the basics. PHP, MySQL, MySQL library, CRUD. You may learn PHP PDO, depending on your point of view. If you're freelancing, yes, WordPress will probably come up. So it's good to learn at least the basics of WordPress and how to create WordPress 
themes. And uh, from there, you can decide to look, jump into a framework because uh, it's just going to make you a better coder at the very least. It seems very likely to me you will probably, you'll probably use it in some production code here and there. And it doesn't have to be big projects. They just have to have some level of complexity. Uh, that's a judgment call, of course. That's a judgment call. Anyway, I hope this video is useful. If you want to learn more about software development, I have my solo learn courses, links below. And I also have my mentoring program slash bootcamp, which will teach you how to code, teach you how to get a job, teach you how to start freelancing, teach you to start businesses, teach you how to have a career and to find yourself in a fantastic position financially in a short period of time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.